Well, it's a beautiful day to have a baby goat. So Tilly has been in labor, kind of very early stages of labor for the last two hours or so. And she's digging, having contractions, but we haven't seen anything. Usually you'll see a little string of mucus come out. We haven't seen that yet. So we're just putting some bedding in. Here's a sign of a contraction. So her tail goes up, her back kind of tightens, and then she digs a lot. You're doing good, Tilly. Sometimes she pushes, like there you go, see a push? She pushes a little bit. Kevin's gonna bring some chairs in for us. We have it all shaded in here. <laughs> We've got the perfect place for it. It feels so nice, right, to have a place to put them and it's all locked up here and safe. It's so interesting how they want to be locked up when they're in labor because every other time they hate to be locked up. In fact, that's why we didn't want to do the live stream with Willow because if we put her in here, she would try to get out all the time. But Tilly's been in here and we can open and close this door right there and she does not want to leave. So that was kind of the first sign that I noticed that I think something's happening. She doesn't want to leave the pen. So exciting. <sighs> I'm actually really glad that Tilly's delivering first because I know that she delivers really easily and she'll, she just has one, so it'll be kind of, hopefully, crossing my fingers, an easy delivery before we get to the first timer Willow or to the Doris that has who knows how many babies. So her contractions, I'm thinking, are about a minute apart. That's pretty close. It's moving pretty fast. She just keeps getting up and down as she kind of um, is getting the baby in position. Oh my gosh, she's getting really close here, guys. Um, gotta call Danelle, she's in the house. Oh, okay, hurry. Once the mucus came out, like a whole gallon of it. Yeah, I saw that. I was watching it. We've got two little hooks. That's good. Normally I would check for a nose, but I think I already see it right there, so. Doing good. Yeah, she can do it. She's really good. She did it alone with Fern and. Yeah? Oh, yeah, she, she just did it all by herself. But... She did. She's such a good mama. You're doing good. You're doing good. Good Tilly. Just wait for the next contraction. Don't push it. I know. Oh. Oh, this is the worst part right here. Oh, I feel a little mouth right there and I feel another little hoof. So y'all just hold the hooves. I won't pull. I'm doing good. <laughs> Good, Tilly. Yeah, clean it off. You did it. Just how much she changed there. Because it feels so good. <laughs> you did it. You eat that placenta. <laughs> What's well, a cute little boy? It's got like white speckles. I mean, everywhere. I'm guessing it's a boy, but I didn't really look. Yeah, Should I look? Not you yet. guys trust me? No. Okay, let's wait just a second. Let's let her have her have her time. It's cute. It's got little spots yeah. on it, but it's got a little bit of a peppery, like brown and black color. Yeah. Look at you. You did so good. You're looking a little bit big, so hopefully there's no more in there. It's cute. It's got a little white tuft of hair on the top. Oh, it's got a ton of little speckles around it. Good. You did so good, Tilly. That was a fast labor. It was a painful was one. Good. Oh, he's a little cutie. He's got brown all over him. Yeah. Let's see if it's a girl or boy. Can Danelle tell? It's a girl. Really? <laughs> yeah. You're sure? I'm positive. You're positive. I'm positive. I see a little. Okay. Look at that. You you birthed that baby yourself. I love the coloring. We've got black and light brown and dark brown. Probably some moon spots. Yeah. So the question is, is she done? So 
we're 99% positive that Tilly is done, but we won't know for sure until she delivers the placenta. Uh, we'll see. We'll just watch and wait. Look at, I love how it has like the stripes on her face like her. Oh, you can see that start, yeah. start to come out. I know what you mean. Almost like she looks exactly like her, except for being a bit darker. Oh, that's cute right there. <laughs> Keep knocking her down, Tilly. I know what they're talking about. Knocking her over, trying to stand up. Deadly, let her go. Oh my word. Very kind of that. You want them really attentive, you yeah. know? Yeah. So the timing was good on that because she delivered this morning. I came out here at 7 30. Uh -huh. I noticed she was she her ligaments were gone. And she was so it was basically from eight to that's about normal. Uh -huh. About about four hours. Uh -huh. About four hours since you notice it. Oh, your baby backed up from you. We gotta get closer to you. She's, She's looking for the tea. Really fast. Okay, usually at this point, now that Tilly has delivered and she's standing and she's delivered the placenta, I usually give them a bit of molasses water. But this year, I'm going to add this stuff called goat and sheep Nutri Drench. It has calcium and selenium and a few other vitamins. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna make sure that she's doing well, and producing lots of milk. And they always drink it super fast. Going, baby. How fast she's drinking that. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, she is. Here, pick her up so we can see her face. Take care of her umbilical cord. Oh. Well, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. You are so cute. Your little face. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, put her down. She's all worried. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me see your umbilical cord. Lift her up for a second. Yeah, we're gonna trim that real quick. Okay, Tilly needs her baby. Okay, yeah. Tilly needs her baby. I don't think she has any moon spots. She just has the regular white and then some black. She's doing really good though. She can drink. Mm-hmm, she can drink really well now. Only in maybe an hour after delivery and she's doing, ama she's doing amazing. Oh, Lydia, we're in trouble. She's cute. She's an only child, so she's going to be spoiled by her mom and us <laughs> and everyone. Yeah. She, look, it looks like she's smiling. <laughs> she's really cute. Are you just a happy little goat, huh? Yeah. She's not as big as I thought she was. Yeah. When she first came out. I think Tilly's just small. Yeah. How come Lydia gets to hold her? Who's your first? Uh oh, Kevin, I think we're in trouble. Mm. She's pretty cute. Look at that face. It looks like that she's. Little polka dots. <laughs> she looks like she's like constantly smiling here. That with those markings. The cute little feet. She walk around yet? Yeah, she's been really good. She's been nursing. Yeah. Tilly's being a good mama. Tilly completely cleaned her off. She's all dry. Yeah, she did a good job. <laughs> she keeps doing it though. Yeah, <laughs> just in case there's one spot. Yeah, that's how good of a mom she is. If you guys remember, last year Tilly actually rejected a baby, and so we've always been a little bit cautious if she's gonna do that. But it seems like if she just has one, she does good. <laughs> Lydia, that face. Look, you are so cute. Look at your little face. Where is it? Oh, there she is. Yeah, she, she was just nibbling a little bit. But. Most of the time, goats yeah. deliver the yeah. placenta and then they eat yeah. it. And some people have thought that they do that to keep away predators, and some people think yeah. that they have nutrients in them. If our goats don't eat them, yeah. we toss them right away. We don't want those smells around here, and we don't want yeah. we don't want flies and all that. So yeah. it's gonna go. Check. Yep, still your baby. <laughs> yeah, you're still just your baby. She's really cute, Kevin. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to keep her too. 
Okay, so I know a lot of you guys have already given us a bunch of names. We posted on Instagram about a week ago that we wanted the baby goat's names to have the same first letter as their moms. So, T names for Tilly. So, Lydia and I already have a couple T names that we like. So we want you guys to help add to that list. So go ahead and post below any girl T names you got. And then in the next video, we'll do a poll on the top one. When I'm with you, there's no reason for I'm intoxicated by your side Nothing in the world's gonna beat this high I've been searching for all of my life When I'm with you As far as Doris and Willow goes, nothing yet. Willow still has loose ligaments. Like she's had this whole time. Doris's ligaments are still as strong as ever, so I'm predicting that Willow will go before Doris, but I don't know, maybe it's gonna be later this week. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. That has been a fun, tiring day. So we're just gonna be taking care of them and watching Doris and Willow closely. Waiting to see what happens. If you wanna check out the video last year where Tilly had two babies but then ended up rejecting one, click here. It's a pretty crazy story.